What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory, guys. Guess what? Today's the day. Today is the day you've all been waiting for. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but do you notice in the top left-hand corner, there is no early access badge. There's no, there, no experimental. There's no experimental. We are out on early access officially, so everybody who's been waiting for the early access branch to update, well, guess what? Here we are doing the things, doing the stuff. As you can see, everything is is as it should be we have the refiners we have everything this is my current save from the experimental build everything loaded in uh hopefully okay i think it's fine but uh yeah it is out now make sure you guys get in there update do the things do the stuff and i want to see post your creations post your factories head on over to the discord if you don't mind and uh let's let's post some stuff i want to see what you guys are building if you guys waited uh, or if you already dived in anyways what are we doing well we're gonna continue this we have got some we've got some nuclear power to get to so we're gonna make that happen we're gonna get these things kind of rocking and rolling getting all the basic stuff going uh we're gonna get some assemblers and whatnots but i think we should have enough to actually start getting some things stored and like fired up and actually running if i'm not mistaken so these machines i do believe are all hooked up so those are good and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything getting ready to be powered because this line right here is actually what's gonna power like this whole area so we're gonna go through i'm gonna put some lines in and then i'm gonna go through all of these machines and i'm gonna connect these guys up and i'm not actually sure how i want to do this because we have six of these guys and 12 of these so ideally it'd be one for every two but i think it would probably be good to have some kind of buffer in there so we might bring we might bring three together and then three together and then have two. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to start playing with it. But yes, it is out. It is new. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So let me hop up here. Let me look this over and let me get some things started, shall we? So I think I have it lined up exactly how we're going to have to do this. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy right on here. Uh, we're going to actually just run one line out and have them all feed in because like i said we have the uh, the conveyor belt mark fives so i think the conveyor belts are going to be able to handle the demand from all these machines anyways so basically we just have you know this is going to be the output right here of all of those guys bringing all the resources over here and they're just going to go ahead and split off into the inputs of these machines just like this and then we're going to go ahead and bring that into there like that and then the outputs are all going to go in a visually type direction and connect into like a general storage area kind of thing. So I think that'll work. I don't think we'll get backed up or I don't think we'll be starving the machines because like I said, I think we are way good. We're going to be able to like way over capacity for all the machines. So let me get these hooked up and I'll probably go ahead and hook those up as well. Just so they're all done and nice. All right. So I switched it up just a little bit. I was going to bring everything down and out that way, but I think it'd be smarter to bring the final resources back this way, kind of get them into storage over here. And then continue like our little main our mini hub of resources this way that way we can bring everything in from this side produce it to that side and hopefully flow into other machines a little bit easier so we're going to do that and then we're going to repeat the exact same process over here but let's go ahead let's get let's get something in here let's get something actually being produced shall we i think it's worth it let's go ahead and just get this guy well yeah we'll just line it up we'll line it up right there it'll be good for now we can always adjust it if we need to grab this guy throw it in there fantastic all right, so I need a bunch of power poles. That is just fine. So let me go through and put all these guys in. I shouldn't need a whole ton of them, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna need a few. All right, I got all these machines hooked up, ready to go. Let's go ahead, let's throw the switch on them and see what we're gonna get. Now, we might actually need to up our uh, Caterium ore a little bit, because if I'm not mistaken, that one was actually the slowest one that we had. So we might have to do a, a little bit of that. Oh, you know what? Shoot, these are gonna fire up as well. Oh, and these are gonna fire up as well oh oh we need to get we need to get some storage going for all of these oh wow actually you know what these aren't even hooked up to power let me get these hooked up to power too we're gonna start up everything now under cover of darkness we should be able to plug this guy in here and all of these machines should turn on i'm excited i'm scared let's do it oh there they all went all yellow okay those are gonna be all, uh the ones at the far end are not gonna turn on all right looking good Looking good. I see some, uh, I see some stuff. I see some, some things happening here. We have concrete coming in. We have, oh, we have steel coming in pretty quick. Now I do know that we do have a backup because of, of these, uh, these storages. So let's see, let's actually go take a quick peek here. Let's see how the storages are actually holding up. I think it, Caterium wire, this is copper, limestone, no problemo. What about? are you iron no problemo 
Uh, Caterium. All right, hold on. Oh, you know what? We got to check the back. Oh, shoot. I forgot these were doubled up. Hold on. We got to check the back ones. Uh, yeah. Coal's no problem. Caterium. Why is Caterium not going at all? Hmm. Let's go take a peek on those real quick. Oh, Caterium's not going because I don't have Caterium hooked up. <laughs> this is copper. <gasps> oh, shoot. These aren't copper. I set these all to Caterium. Oh, no. What am I doing? Okay, these are supposed to be, uh... Oh, uh, is it copper wire or is it copper wire and sheeting? Oh, no. It's copper sheeting. That's what these are supposed to be. All right. Well, let me go through and change all these to copper sheeting. <laughs> there, there we go. Now we have copper sheeting coming in. Uh, how is the production rate? Mm, actually, you know what? I'm a little worried. Little worried here. Maybe we're just going to have to let it go. Because this is the last one. So this should be getting the final little bits of the resources. Ooh, 20 per minute. Okay, hold on. I don't even know if we're making 20 per minute. That means I'd have to have, what, 240 per minute in production? No, that'd be if there's 10. Yeah, there should be 240 in production. How much are we producing? Ooh, we're only producing 180. Mmm, I see the issue here. We might have to throw a couple more of these bad boys in here, which actually wouldn't be that bad because we can just cl click them right onto this line right here. So... We're only producing 180. We need, what, 220? Let's build two more of them. Uh, I'm out of copper <laughs> out of copper wire. So I got one more smelter hooked up. I'm actually com I'm completely out of rods. I have no rods over here. This is terrible. But we should. Okay, so these are starting to back up. That's fantastic. We are probably getting copper sheet. We're getting all these resources faster than I've ever gotten any of these resources before. So hopefully this will be enough to keep up with our nuclear power demands. Like I said, we might blow past it. We might not even make enough to run the five that we have, but we're going to try. So these guys are up and running. I got to get these up and running because this is the actually the uh, the Caterium. And this is only going to produce 15 parts per minute. And then we need, how much do you need? 12 per minute? Hmm. So these are almost a one for one. So realistically, I need a bunch of these guys too. I'm going to need more of them. Uh, we could actually probably not quite double them. So if we put a total of 10 in here, we should be good. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we need four more, essentially. We need four more of these guys. And then that'll be good to produce those about as efficiently as I'm really worried about. Uh, and then these should be good as well. Let me, you know, I don't understand why some of these are red and some of them are orange. Like the colors never stay. The colors are always messing up on me. Uh, but that looks pretty good. I would say, actually, you know, we might actually be good here. Because if these are backing up, these are going to start all going that way. We might actually be okay without this one. Eh, we'll throw it in there anyways. Just be safe. All right. So we have some of the basic resources coming in. I think we're going to press to make some of the other things. I'm going to just, I'm going to get this one connected up off camera because not super worried about it, but we need to start getting the things for the next set of items, the assemblers and all of that wonderful, wonderful jazz. So we need the uranium cells encased beams and electromagnetic rods now for the encased beams i know we're gonna need pipes uh lucky for us that's just a constructor so i'm not super worried about that yet uh we probably should we'll probably end up putting that next to the um next to the steel stuff anyways so the encased industrial beams those should be super easy to knock out i'm not really worried about those but the electromagnetic rods we're gonna need those and electromagnetic rods are stators and AI limiters. So let's go ahead. Let's take a peek at those real quick. Um, assemblers. All right. So we're going to put these up leg. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're going to put those over here. So we're going to need AI limiters and stators. So we're going to need these for those. AI limiter, that's only gonna give us one AI limiter per deal. Stator, stator. Oh, you know what? We're gonna be using the alternate for quick wire for sure. So uh let's set up what do we want to set up first? I guess we can set up the AI limiters. I don't know how many we're gonna need, because this is gonna produce one every 12 seconds, but we need two every 30. So actually two. Two for every electromagnetic control rod. And then what were the what were these? So this needs three stators every 30 seconds. And this produces two stators every 15. So that's going to be four. Okay, so we're going to be good on stators. So we can do one for one, uh, but we're going to need two AI limiters being made. We could overclock. 
but I don't want to rely. Oh, no, we're not. One AI limiter, one making one AI limiter, and one making staters. We should be good. It should be good. So we're going to need in total, because we need electromagnetic control rods, uh, we need five of those because we're going to we're going to have one for each machine dedicated completely for each manufacturer. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need five of those bad boys, which means we're going to need five electronic control rods or electric control rod deals. And then we're going to need 10. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just realized how many assemblers we're going to have. To <laughs> we're going to have to have so many assemblers here. Uh, and then case industrial beams, those are super easy. So I'm not super worried about that either. That's just going to require the encased uh, uranium cell. Oofed. So we need five of these. We need five. Uh, we need five of them. That's, that's how many we need. We need five of these guys delivering the staters and we need five of them delivering the ai control modules as well so these five are going to be i think we're gonna go with alternate staters on these ones uh so let me just go ahead and mark these before i forget alternate quick wire stator fantastic and then we're going to also need five for the ai limiters now how do i want to have these set up we're probably going to go out this way with them uh i think they'll probably be easiest so we'll go ahead and bring these in here. I got to keep in mind that I need enough room to bring in and take out. So we'll go, go right here for these guys. So these five are going to make the AI limiters. And then those five are going to make the staters. So then those should each feed. Oh my gosh. All of these just for the electromagnetic control rods. So then we're going to need five electromagnetic control rods. Uh, and then that should be done. Holy moly. And I don't think we're going to have to worry about, uh, we're not going to worry about any nuclear stuff yet. So that's going to knock out one of the things. Holy shamoles. Now, do I want to bring them down here? Do I want to set them over here? We're probably going to set them over here. So then these, five, <laughs> these five are going to be our electromagnetic control rods. All right. We're starting to get somewhere people starting to get somewhere. Okay. So these are pretty much good to go i think we're good on that now the other things that we're gonna need is that we uh you need we need the uranium cells which is made in the manufacturer so that's super easy electromagnetic control rods are 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 good to go encased industrial beams so we should only need five more <laughs> only five more assemblers just five more that'll give us the encased industrial beams super easy not gonna worry about that and then we're gonna need some constructors as well because we have to make uh we have to make a bunch of pipes Mm, yeah, pipes. Actually, pipes are pretty much the last thing. Pipes and then getting this area set up for the... What is this one? Oh, this is the quick wire. Okay, so this is the quick wire area. So basically, the pipes are the last thing. Uh, well, let's go Let's go get those set up. So we definitely have plenty of, uh, of steel being made because these are all already backed up. We already have one gigantic storage. I think we're just going to throw them in here. And I don't know how many pipes we're actually, like, realistically going to need. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just get these like all kinds of lined up and we'll just kind of see what we get out of them. So there's six making pipes. I feel, I honestly feel like that's going to be overkill. I think, I think our foundries making this much steel is probably overkill as well. Uh, but you know what? Overkill is the name of the game, isn't it? Well, we could just leave it with these six for now. I think we're going to be making tons of pipes. I think we're going to be way good on pipes to be completely honest. How, how fast do you guys make pipes? Like if we want to steal pipe, it makes two every six seconds. Oh, okay. That might, that might not be enough. Uh, we might actually need more. You're right. You're right. You talked me into it. We need more. Now I want to actually try something here. I want to throw a merger right here. I want to see if I can just get the outputs of both of these to be on the same side. Uh, it's in logistics, uh, conveyor merger. I want it coming out this way. What are the odds that that that's that's not gonna work okay so we're going to move it back just a hair this one should be able to connect up okay let's see if we can get this one to connect up as well i mean we can set it like that that's not terrible i mean it's not like super close but then the outputs of both of these would be on the same side all right let's do that and should be good uh, i just have to connect power to everything we should have plenty of steel going out to all these guys uh i can go through and select all these to be steel pipes fantastic all right so all those guys are good I have to get him connected to a storage, which we can actually, we'll probably just get rid of all the, um, all the raw ingots in this storage for now. Yeah, we'll just do that. And we should have steel pipe production. Hopefully, maybe, 
Looks good. Feels good. Let's see. Oh, I can see the steel pipes flashing before my eyes. Look at him go. Uh, yes, I would say we're good. And then how are, how are you looking? Uh, it's completely backed up already. Fantastic. Oh, no, it's not. It's not actually backed up. Interesting, actually. I don't see any coming in here. What is the dealio? I mean, it's making it as fast as it can. Maybe they're just coming out super fast. I can't even see them. <laughs> they're so fast. I can't even see them. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're going. Oh, geez. I hate when it does that. I mean, it looks like they're going. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good because everything's going to slowly back up anyways. Uh, and I don't think, and I think we're going to be making way enough pipes as it is. So yeah, I mean, like those just all passed out. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go check this guy again and make sure. Because this one down here, this is the one that would be lagging. Oh, it is lagging a little bit. It is lagging just a hair. How's this one doing? Ooh. How much do these need? 30 per minute? And I have what? Uh, I have 12 of these. So, okay. All right. All right. We're, we're overdoing it a little bit, but that's fine. Actually, we're, are we? All right. So we're shorting them about 90. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be fine. We could always take out, uh, we could take out three of these if we really wanted to. Not super worried. I mean, I think we're gonna be making plenty as it is though. Honestly, you know what? Let's just get rid of these three. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just get rid of, uh, we'll just get rid of, actually, let's just get rid of these two. We'll get rid of these two for now. And we'll just call it good. We'll, we'll just let these ones make it. They should be fully fed. And I think it's gonna be more pipes than we're ever gonna need. So we'll just leave it like that for now. If we need to come back, we can. We can always overclock some things if we need to, but I think that's gonna work for the steel pipes. No problemo. So we have concrete coming in super fast. Uh, we have that. Actually, the concrete's really not coming in as fast as I thought it would. You know, maybe six isn't enough. They should be. I mean, we could always overclock them if we need to. So pipes are good. Those are good. Everything is feeling good. Now, the last, uh, the last bit of assembler stuff is going to be the encased industrial beams and the uranium cells. So let's go take, let's take a peek, shall we? Uh, actually, do I even have the stuff to make those? I do, I have plenty, <laughs> I have plenty. Uh, ooh, do I have enough concrete though? I don't have any concrete. Okay, so we're gonna be limited by the area of which we can actually build right now. I'm gonna probably have to come back through and finish this whole area out and finish putting foundations and whatnots in. So let's just take a peek in here. All right, so in case the uranium cell is actually just concrete and the pellets, so that I'm not even worried about. And then, hold on a second. Am I, am I missing something here? Oh, that's right, it's just in case industrial beams, okay. I was like, wait a second. I feel like I'm missing something here. Nope, just the encased industrial beams, uh, which are only going to require like, so we have an alternate and we have a primary. This is gonna give us one. This is gonna give us one. So four beams. Oh, we're gonna go with the alternate because we already have pipes being made anyways. So that's gonna give us those. It's gonna cost us like five per second. So we might have to bump up the concrete a little bit. I think the pipes will be okay. So we're gonna go with those. We're gonna make five for encased industrial pipes and then five for in case uranium cells and then we're gonna run those all into these guys and get those guys hooked up run the pipe oh my gosh guys we are so close we are so close we're getting there we're getting there we got things being made uh i gotta get this stuff online and i'll probably do some of this off camera but uh that's actually gonna end this episode guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more uh next episode next episode might be might be the episode where we actually fire things up. We'll have to see. But uh, if we do, it's going to... We're probably going to stream a little bit beforehand so I can get some of this stuff done. So twitch.tv slash if you guys want to check it out. But uh, I'm going to get some of the stuff done off camera. I'm going to get these things hooked up, kind of rock and roll. I'm going to get this filled out with uh, concrete and foundations. And I think the next episode, we're probably going to fire this bad boy up. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.